so let us let us reach out to others on Slack to join us. I'll be having a short session because I believe you already have like a long day. So real quick, I'll be sharing my screen now. Confirm if you can see my screen with thumb ups. Thumbs up if you can see my screen. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today we'll be looking at etiquette of remote workplace. It's our eighth week and uh, the second uh, career exercise for the week. So now, since the advent of uh, COVID-19, uh, the nature of work has, has actually changed from what it used to be and uh, to what we have now. And also with the advent of technology, the way and the manner in which uh, people work together has really, really, really changed. So before now, we used to have uh, a physical office where employees come around, work, interact, and you know, at the end of the day, go back to their various places. But during COVID-19, where we have to observe social distances and uh, also we have to employ that people should work from home so that is one of the good thing COVID-19 has brought to us that is the advent and the adoption of remote work so if you look at the picture we have here when, you, when before we used to have like an interaction in the team interaction physical interaction offices and before now so during COVID-19, we have social distances and uh, the government have to give a strength a uh, one in that year that everyone can work from home and uh, it has come to stay, so to say. And also the, the uh, advance in technology has also improved on that. So now the new normal is uh, work from home. Is that a new normal? That is a, that is a new normal for now. So now... According to Flex Job Employment Engagement Report, it states that 48% of employers actually maintain some form of remote work for their workforce. You know, after COVID-19, some uh, employers instructed their employees to resume back to office. But according to Flex Job Employment Engagement Report, it says that 48% of these employers actually maintain that uh, their workforce should uh, maintain a uh, remote work. So it is essential for us with this, uh, with this fact to now say, okay, after our training at Ten Academy, we want to, we want to get global level job whereby we can stay in our various countries and work with people all around the globe. Just like in Ten Academy, we have people from Ethiopia, Ghana, Nigeria, and all. So, in the real time, in the real workspace, also in remote work workspace, that is the kind of scenario we will be having. So it is essential for us to know the kind of etiquette we should, uh, we can always put in place when we eventually land our dream jobs. Now, according to Clarence Thomas, he said, "Good manners will open doors that best education cannot." Yes, you can have good education. Good education can help you get a job. But with good manners, you can sustain your job. With good manners, you can even climb the ladder of your, your career ladder as fast as you can. So good manners also can also help you maintain relationship with your with your employers and also your co your colleagues at work. So what is etiquette on the surface? According to what we have here, 
Etiquette refers to a set of social conventions, customs, and rules governing behaviors in a particular society, group, or context. So, in general, apart from our normal, our remote work workplace, that is our home target, that is our focus for today's session, etiquette refers to a social convention, custom, or rules. All these things are what is generally accepted as professional uh, behavior you can always uh, undergo. So, these social conventions, customs, and rules, it governs our behavior, their etiquette, just like if you want to eat, the etiquette of eating. If you want to eat, ensure you have a table of water in front of you. It's an etiquette of it. When you are eating, you should ensure you are not eating, you are not talking, rather. So, it's, it, so there are benefits for all these things. Every etiquette you follow, it means that there is a benefit attached to it. So that is etiquette on the general surface. A set of social convention, custom and rules. And it encompasses the expectation and norms that gives individuals in their interaction with, with others, helping to maintain politeness, respect and consideration in social and professional setting. So apart from the etiquette of eating, you can have the etiquette of even going to bed. You can have etiquette of that. But the etiquette you are referring to here, how our etiquette when it comes to the, our professional uh, in professional setting, our professional outlook, what are the etiquette you are putting in place. Even in the usage of social media, there are some etiquettes as a professional, the etiquette you have to put in place, especially if you have a brand you are protecting. So the etiquette you must put in place. So in remote workplace, so in a, in a narrow in a more narrow context, now we have a remote work etiquette refers to the set of professional behavior. You know, in general context, say what the set of social convention, custom and rules. But for now, we say what set of professional behaviors, practices and norms that individual had there when working outside the traditional work, traditional office environment. Okay, in remote work by I'm working with Rodolfi and uh, he, he, he can't see me, I can't see him, I don't even know his location and we are working together on a particular project. So there are some etiquettes we need both of us need to put in place to ensure we have uh, we have a good teamwork and ensure our project is being delivered on time without compromising quality. So these are professional behaviors and practices such that when you find yourself on the job, it is expected of you to put all these things into practice, right? So put all these things into pro the practice when you uh, eventually land your, land your dream job. So it encompasses everything from communicating online, attending virtual meetings, uh, presenting ourselves even on video calls. So the manner in which, the manner in which we communicate online while uh, working remotely, the manner in which we attend virtual meetings and presenting ourselves on video call is very, very important. And they are not limited to these ones I mentioned here. So I see how this slide actually explains, you know, the categories in which we can uh, put all this etiquette together, all this remote work etiquette together. So importance of remote work etiquette, remote work etiquette. So first one we have here is uh, it reduces the chance of task being misinterpreted or Important details being overlooked when you are, especially when you are communicating. One of the etiquette of communication is to ensure you are to ensure you you communicate clearly and concisely. So that is when you want to assign a task, when you want to request for uh for a deliverable from your coworker, you should be able to clear your utterance and also your communication how to be clear. So when you make sure you take note of that etiquette in communication or the etiquette attached to communication. It will definitely reduce the chance of tasks being misinterpreted and also helping and misinterpreted or important details being overlooked. The next one is that it also ensures everyone should be on the same page about project goals. One of the etiquettes when you are working is to ensure that yes, you give updates as soon as possible or updates as early as you can. Every day updates, just like as we do in the academy, whereby every every morning you have a stand up, you give your updates. These are these are real work environment situations, such that you must give updates on what you have been doing, what you did yesterday, and what you'll be doing today, and your progress on a, 
on the task assigned to you. So all this will ensure that everyone on the project, you are on the same page, individual responsibilities, deadline and other critical aspects. You ensure that everything you guys are on the same page. So in this code, you have to, in essence, remote working etiquette is not just about maintaining professional decorum. It's about fostering an environment where individuals can operate efficiently, even miles apart. Yes, I can work together with her own, I can work together with Yabi, even though we are far apart. I can work together with Rodas. So if you, can, if you can put in this, our etiquette together, we all have different, different cultural background and the etiquette we are talking here can give us that uh alignment you can all you can all align at that particular point of okay this etiquette will be following this is the standard will be following so the etiquette i have as a nigerian might be different from the etiquette someone else has as think as an ethiopian however but when it comes to professional setting you should be able to have a uh you will have like a, a talent line where everyone can follow so keep working from home rules there's some basic research that if you're working from home you should be able to take note of them that is working from home doesn't mean you have to work for, on your bed or something so it's just like designating the professional space at home in your home you can look for you can have a table or a chair you know you must wise to be that elaborate such that you will know yes this is your work table so it's going to give you some kind of professional just like you have an environment, creating a work environment for yourself. So we should have a designated, designated professional workspace in your house. It's not your most for you to have three monitors, four monitors, or two monitors. You can just have a laptop, a table, and chair. You are good to go. Then try to avoid distractions in your space. It's, these are just rules that should guide your own working from home. You should create your office in your house. So the last one is maintain regular working hours and setting boundaries. Yeah, working from home doesn't mean you should have to work 24 hours, seven days. You should have you should be professional with your uh, with your working hours. You should be able to set boundaries. On, okay, these are my working hours. This is the time for myself and my family. You should be able to create those time for yourself. So you can't work from home manage and say, okay, you want to work for 27 for 24 hours that is unprofessional so you should be able to have your work time and the time for yourself so what are the expectations when you're working from home what are the expectations of your of your employer so is your employer expected to provide regular status update on the task that is if you are given a task you should be able to provide regular update on the task assigned to you Secondly, is to be able to see clarity. If you have maybe uh, the task is assigned to you and it is ambiguous to you, it is vague to you, you should be able to seek for clarity on that particular task. You should be able to seek for clarity on that particular task. Also, you should be able to balance work and personal life. I have explained this already. That you should be able to balance your work and your personal life. Uh, as a remote worker, I have seen people that work remotely and uh, they overwork themselves. They work around the clock. So you should be able to, okay, it's one of your, it's, it's an etiquette for you to practice as an individual. Okay, please, can you confirm if you can hear me? Just thumbs up. Okay, thank you. So you have to seek for clarity. Uh, sorry. You have to be able to balance your work and your personal life. These are etiquette you need to follow. Taking care of yourself, taking care of your health, they are your own responsibility. You should be able to take them as important as taking your technical skill as this. So you should be respecting different time zones. Yes, you know, here at Ten Academy, we are making use of UTC as our, you know, as our time zone. At the end of the day, after our training, you will land a job with some of work maybe with a company in Canada or a company in Europe. You should be able to, you know, work with your time zone. Right? Regardless of the you know the uh, the variation in the timing. You should be able to respect time zone. Also dressing appropriately for video calls. There are times whereby you need to activate your video. 
you should be able to at least be presentable not just put on like a singlet while having a video call with maybe a stakeholder or even your employer you should be able to appear in your video calls appropriately while this not dressing appropriately so in general well in general you can group uh, categories of remote work etiquette that is your etiquette that's rem remote work place you can group them in these categories like okay you can have a uh, etiquette for out on collaboration in virtual spaces what i mean by virtual space here is uh relating to slack discord teams so those are virtual spaces but for 10 academy we are making use of uh, of slack as our own virtual space for communication so also you should look at so there will be etiquette for your virtual meeting so for every virtual meeting you have there must be etiquette you have to follow so for virtual meeting also while working remotely you have to be sending emails so there must be you also have etiquette of emailing when you want to send emails what are the etiquettes that binds email when you want to send your emails how professional you are sending your emails so after that teamwork so when you have to collaborate with someone on a project you have a co-worker you have to come you have to collaborate with how what are the etiquettes you need to follow when you are collaborating with your teammates on a project professionalism of the high etiquette that shows how professional you are on your job so we have the challenge for the week based on your based on your eight weeks experience at an at 10 academy you wanted to reference and analyze some activities that has taken place such as guest talk question and answer session feedback delivery slack engagement and all so this one means that after you okay, already this is your your eight week at the academy so we want you to look at some activities that has taken place for instance guest talk all right so you can reference a guest talk tell us the dates we have this guest talk tell us the name of the lecture of that guest talk and tell us analyze the etiquette you were able to notice perhaps from the from the guest lecturer when he was giving his presentation or even before his presentation what are the etiquettes you are that were noticeable to you so that is like an activity so we want you to reference and analyze in the career challenge that is you are specific about this so when i when i uh when i present my career challenge the career challenge document to you you see the exact activity you need to reference so you want to reference this activity i just give an example of guest talk now you can decide to you know to reference some slack engagement or some slack conversation where you notice some kind of a professional etiquette that's where that was it that's what that's where employed there so analyze those activity that has taken place that has taken place in your eight week eight weeks at an academy and such as this and in your analysis we want you to pay attention to the professional etiquette in the activities say for instance now i want to reference a guest talk so in the guest talk just for me just for reference purpose you write the name of the tutor the name of the lecturer the topic is trying to he try he, he talked on then you can give uh etiquette as okay the it may be join the meeting maybe join the meeting early is one of the etiquette punctual is an etiquette of, of virtual meeting maybe join the meeting early maybe the way it talks so you have to analyze what actually happened during the what actually happened during the uh, session the etiquette we're able to deduce the the, the the professional etiquette you notice during that session so we want you to so after referencing the activities and after you have analyzed we want you to okay reference at least four activities then we want you to extract noticeable etiquette in those activities that is if you for instance if you reference a guest talk if you reference feedback delivery 
DM delivery, maybe on Slack or something. We want you to analyze that activity, analyze it. Then we want you to extract from your analysis, okay, that this had the uh, etiquette you noticed in that particular uh, activity. Now, now I want you to group the etiquette in those in this category. That is each of the etiquette. We want you to group them in what collaboration in virtual space. That is, if you are referencing something on on Slack, maybe through conversation between Aaron and one of the trainees, and you notice that Aaron will actually apply some professional etiquette in his conversation with that kind of training. So we want you to, you know, you can take his, a, a, a screenshot of that conversation. Then I'll see, I'll still get to the point of, okay, the kind of submission I want from you. So you can take the screenshot of the conversation. Then, okay, tell us, that, okay, in collaborating in virtual, collaboration in virtual space, these are the etiquette. Then you give us the etiquette for virtual meeting, just like you can give instance of desktop and give instance of the q and session. Okay, these are the virtual, these are the etiquette you, that you noticed during virtual meeting. So emailing, I will say explain more on what we actually demand from you on emailing. Then teamwork also, for teamwork, you can also refer to your, maybe just like the group, uh, the group, the presentation that you have, what are the etiquette you applied or what are the etiquette someone else even applied as a team as a team member that you feel that this is an it is a professional etiquette the professionalism in general we want you to list out uh, the etiquette you will notice that are prefer that proves professionalism so and also outside of the etiquette you notice that STEM academy we want you to research on at least to research and list at least two other etiquettes in each categories. That is after all the noticeable etiquettes, you notice that, yeah, at Ten Academy, that you notice that Ten Academy, maybe by Ten Academy uh, team, or even by your co, uh, your, your, your colleague, then we want you to now look, look at research, okay, on collaborating in virtual space. On collaborating in virtual space, try to research on two, at least, two more two more etiquettes on virtual meeting research on two more at least two more etiquettes on emailing on teamwork and on professionalism then also the next challenge you have is we want you to look inwardly look into yourself look inwardly and highlight your etiquette gaps you know after highlighting all the etiquette at an academy after highlighting after making your research, what are the gaps you feel you have etiquette wise? So we want you to uh we want you to highlight those gaps. Then the last one here is we want you to develop an action plan to bridge the etiquette gap that you have. So because you definitely need this etiquette when you get on a job. So deliverable we want from you. So in Google Doc format or it can be a Google slide also. We want you to include the analysis of at least five different activities by explaining the etiquette as applied in the activities. I've explained this better. That you want you to include, you want you to in your submission, you want to have the analysis. You want to have the analysis of your of the activities you are referencing. So in addition to that, you want you to add screenshots if you are referencing. Uh, a chat, a conversation, or an email. We want to see a screenshot of that, right? We want to see a screenshot of that. You know, if you want to reference a virtual call, you might not be able to, you know, give us like a screenshot. But we want to have like detail of that of the particular of the particular video you are, the particular particular session you want to reference. Maybe the dates the maybe the, if it's like if it's the guest talk you are referencing the guest talk the you name know, of the lecturer the title of the discussion and all so we want to have the detail but for this if you are referencing a chat or an email you want to see a screenshot of that then you, you have to analyze then in your analysis you want to do to extract etiquette of those activities for us 
then he wanted to group the etiquette into into these categories that is collaboration in virtual workspace, virtual meeting, emailing, team shape, professionalism, and all. Then he wanted to include your sample emails to an academy. You know, I will see explain, I will see open the career challenge and give you some more insight. This is my slide and I have to make it as short as I can. So we wanted to include sample email. I will see explain more on this. I want to include at least two examples of the etiquette different from the noticeable ones. I've explained this already. That is apart from the ones you notice at Ten Academy, we wanted to research on more. Then list at, at least two for each category. Then we wanted to include your submission, your etiquette gaps, and also the action to address those gaps. So let me move on to present the career challenge. Then we can open the floor for questions and answers. So my emphasis on the on the task. My emphasis on the on the task. Okay, so if we look at the third task now, I've explained this first one, I've explained the second one. So the third one here that is yet to be unclear is this. I said according to the etiquette I like it in the emailing category, if you want to if you want to reference or this email category, you want to have like a screenshot of a professional email that you know, yes, this email is professional. So in that email, you want to, to analyze the email and extract the etiquette you were able to notice in the, in that particular email and while the after you've after you've extracted the etiquette you now want you to apply the etiquette to write a sample email to an academy you don't need to send that email to, to us so we want you to just write a sample email by by applying the etiquette you you developed then we want you to your sample email should get feedback on the intensive training. That should be like the title of your uh, of the email. Feedback on the on called a intensive training, right? So that is the that is my, that is my explanation on the emailing part. We want you to reference a professional email, extract the details from it, extract the etiquette from it. Now apply that etiquette to write your own email with this topic with this title here so that's it for us then for the rubric the rubric is just subject to change for now so since we have uh if there is any need for us if there is any update on the rubric you will see it at your own end so but for now uh, that's what we have and the, the deadline for submission is on saturday 3rd of february 2024 so 8 p.m. UTC. Uh, look forward to your submission. So I'll stop my presentation now and uh, give room for questions, for observations. And if you have any uh, thing, any part of the presentation that needs clarity, uh, you can unmute your mic and speak. Thank you so much. Or you can also drop your message in the chat. You're welcome, Binia. You're welcome. So I need to know, is everything OK? The task, are they clear? Is there anything you want me to, to explain more on the task? Any clarity? If you have any part of the task that is vague or ambiguous, you can just unmute your mic and speak. Elias.
you can unmute your mic and speak. Any clarity you need? Is it okay? Yeah, everything is okay, Adele. Thank you. I can hear you. Am I audible? Yes, you are. You are audible. Everything is clear. Thank okay. you. Okay. If Tahi, I'm here to mic. Yiftahi. Okay. So, Alexander, are you okay? Alexander, if you can't speak, you can mute or you can send your response to the chat. So everyone, if you're okay with that, can we have some thumbs up? Okay, okay. So we look forward to your submission on Saturday and uh, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, have a great weekend ahead. Bye.